Hey there, it's Dr. Heyer from Holistic Health, where we use chiropractic, acupuncture, and nutrition to help sick people get well and well people stay healthy. In this video series, we've been talking about posture. Now, I know we talk about it, but it's often overlooked and the importance is often not very much emphasized. But I hope that having watched these videos, you've seen the connection between how posture can have an effect on our longevity and our health throughout our life. We've even touched briefly on how it can affect the thoracic cavity in our heart and our lungs and may contribute to things like cardiovascular disease, strokes, and even respiratory issues. We've even talked about how that additional stress in the joints because of the slouched posture can lead to and contribute to things like arthritis. I hope that we've kind of put a little bit of importance on it and that maybe you're starting to take it a little bit more seriously. But I often find that whenever I say those things, I feel like people aren't necessarily hearing me. Because a lot of times as a musculoskeletal expert, doing a postural assessment of my patients is part of the key. And when I point out different things, different issues, oh, well, the answer is, well, doc, I'll just stand up straight. Okay, but for how long? I usually ask the person a question, is posture voluntary or involuntary? Well, what do you mean? Okay, is breathing voluntary or involuntary? Well, most of us know that for the most part, breathing is involuntary. I don't have to consciously think about it. I can, I can take a deep breath, I can hold a breath, I can change how quickly I inhale or exhale, I can change my respiration rate. But as soon as I go to think about something, play on my computer or do something else, I don't have to consciously think about breathing, my body just involuntarily does it because that's the program that's running in the background. So I ask you this, is posture voluntary or involuntary? Oh, I can consciously stand up straighter. I can consciously sit up better at my computer, but as soon as my thoughts go to something else, guess what happens? I go back to the program that's running in the back of my head. Posture is involuntary. So even though some people say when I bring up posture, oh, well, I can just fix that myself, they can't because it's an involuntary thing. So if you or someone you know may be experiencing some poor posture, maybe having some health issues that could be linked to or contributed by bad posture, maybe it's time for a proper musculoskeletal evaluation. And feel free to DM us or call us to set up an appointment. And please do me a favor, like, share, and comment so that we can get more people in a healthier place in their life. Thanks. Have a great day.